that you had, do many of those questions still remain? And when the special committee finishes their work, what, you know, three, four questions do you hope they answer? Some of those questions remain, and I have a new list, which I'll probably be publishing. Um, I hope to get to that pretty soon. But new questions have arisen as more information comes out that conflicts previous information. But I still would like to know, and I think the public should know, um, what President Obama did that night. We don't have to know every little step that he took and every little word that he uttered. But the, the total lack of willingness of them to tell us anything, really, about what happened throughout the course of the night, what decisions the commander-in-chief made while Americans were under attack on foreign soil, there could be nothing that I can think of that's of more important public interest, and yet it's been shrouded in secrecy um, even two years later. I, I really think that's an important question to answer. You made a request to the White House uh, photography to get pictures of where he was, what he was doing that night. Was that ever granted? No. Um, so one of the things my producer and I did early on to try to get clues, since they wouldn't tell us, and, you know, they told us so little initially, we requested White House photos taken that night because if you know how the White House works, a photographer is omnipresent. He would have been there taking photographs in the Situation Room. He would have been taking photographs of the president that night. And so we asked for the photos, which in my view are public information, and they're paid for with tax dollars, and they release them when they want them released, and they're positive. Um, and the photo office indicated initially, this is probably in October or, no or November of 2012, that we could have the photos by the end of the day. Um, and that never materialized. They suddenly started referring us to a White House Deputy Press Secretary, Josh Earnest, who's now Press Secretary. And they said that Josh would have to approve it. And Josh would never return a single one of our calls or emails. You know, we, we maintain, tried to maintain communication with him or tried to uh, make communication with him over a long period of time. He wouldn't even answer. So we would go back to the White House press uh, photographer's office and say, you've, you've given us an impossible task. You've told us to talk to somebody who won't talk to us. You need to give us another route uh, to follow to try to get these photos. And they would say, no, you have to talk to Josh Earnest. So that just went down a dead end road. I think that's entirely unacceptable. The press officers work for the public. They're publicly paid to be responsive to the press and the public. Those White House photos belong to the public, in my view, to the extent that they wouldn't reveal any national secrets. Um, so, you know, to this day, they remain secret. I would, I would just be interested in seeing whatever they show.